What's up, bitches? I'm Sarah, and I am here to react to something that I saw on the internet today. So there's this new show that Fox is doing called Labor of Love. Now, I don't know what comes to your mind when you think of that, but it sounds like a dating show, maybe, you know, in the workplace or get to work for it or something, you know, labor, I don't know. Um, not that kind of labor though. So basically it's about these guys competing to impregnate this woman. Yeah, child labor. I have not seen it yet. I didn't even watch the trailer. I just read what it was about and I'm going to react to it while also eating leftover Buffalo Wild Wings. So let's do it. She seems to have it all except one thing, a partner to start a family. I was married briefly and I did think that was the end. So we found 15 sexy and sophisticated men who are ready to skip the dating and go straight to baby making. My biological man claw is taking push to help Christy on her journey. We had the men show off their parenting and partnership skills. Fertility tests. The competition is getting stiff. <laughs> Sudden fatherhood is terrifying. So she can see who is really here to start a family with her. It's like a little barracuda. No nipples are safe. And who is still single because they aren't ready. She's pretty pissed right now. Somebody else got the, the credit for my initiative. There's a snitch in the house. What? You gotta stop talking. I need to know. This can easily become this if it has to. Who thought of this? I was 37 when I got married, but it got so bad that I made the difficult decision to file for divorce six months after standing at the altar. So all the sacrificing that I did, all the hard work, you know, why did I do it? We are three minutes in. She's already crying. This is very intense. Also, they have her name on the screen as mother to be. For as long as I can remember, like I assumed I would become a mother, but I'm very aware of my age. They got her coming out the suicide doors. Damn girl. Oh my gosh. There's more. This place is gorgeous. I could definitely make myself at home here. I came to welcome you and what better way to welcome you to Georgia than a beach bag. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm Marcus. Why do they all have these doors? What the fuck is the budget for this show? I'm an anesthesiologist. I reached a point in my life where my career is put together. He's an anesthesiologist. He got money. He's gonna win. I'm Jason. I'm from Huntersville, North Carolina. And I own my own flooring and renovation business. I definitely want to be married and have kids one day. He a handyman. Say, so, guys, I'm Matt. I'm a former professional wrestler. All right. <laughs> so I connect. Kids, you probably got hit in the balls mad time. My dad is my best friend, and so that's the kind of father I want to be. So we're all gonna make babies, huh? <laughs> <laughs> At least one of us is. There's some guys, man. Hey, man. How are you? My name is Alan. Good, man. I am from South Africa. I want to build a family for myself. There's a bar up there. Woo! Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, Adam. Okay, Adam. Mm -hmm. Everybody's gonna be tanked by the time this whole thing goes on, huh? I don't believe in the whole philosophy of, you know, I need someone to complete me. I get an old-fashioned. You know, I come as a complete human being. But I like the idea of meeting somebody that can meet me toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I keep going, I'm just jumping on the conversation. No, yeah, no, like, Alan is this, like, South African god. Like, he's like a Gregory Peck, Sylvester Stallone. And, like, the Peck is emphasis on his, like, ripped body. Thanks, my man. <sighs> I'm Trent, I'm a tennis instructor. I've got a huge family, like a horse whisperer, but I'm like the woman whisperer, but... Ew. Ew. I don't like him. With his outfit, it's fresh, but... No, I don't like him. I could just tell the way he got out of the car. He's like, I'm a tennis instructor. 
he just has this. No. My name is Stuart. I'm 40 years old from Los Angeles, California, and I'm a CEO. Hello, hello. <laughs> Okay, Stuart walked up and he looked so sweet and Tim and like the other guys were like, I'm so and so and he was just like, he looked like, Stuart looks like a dad and not in a bad way. He just looks like a dad and he looks like a sweetheart and then he's like, and I'm a CEO. He's like, you know, just laid it out there. You fucking tell him, Stu. I work so hard so I can provide this life for my family, but I work so hard but there's no family. Can I have a vodka and soda. I want to be a father. I'm ready to be a husband and be amazing in both of those. And what's the point of having all the money in the world but you have no, nobody to share it with? That was a flex. I'm Philip. I'm a medical technician at Children's Hospital. Philip is cute. Where's the Children's Hospital? He looks young too. He's the panty dropper. Let's see how old he is. 38. So he's not much younger, but he looks young. Let me, you got to do this. Collar back here is, is Poppins. I appreciate you. Yeah, fix my hood. Fix my hood. Collar boy. How did I become collar boy? What's going on? I doubt it was intentional, but that felt really fucking racist. I'm Gary, and I own my own company making baseball bats. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Sorry, Gary. You seem very nice. I just can tell she's gonna eat this man alive. He's he doesn't stand a chance. I've mastered many things, and now I'm ready to master being a father. I'm Walker, and I'm a funeral director. I see people who die surrounded by love and family, and people who die alone. And I 100% have a fear of dying alone. That sounds like something we need to unpack later. My name's Kyle. I'm 6'8". I'm really excited about being a dad. Very nice to meet you. I'm Jason. Jason Kyle. Yeah, I got a big hand. Budge. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah. Welcome. How are you saying Butter Budge? It's actually Budge. B-U-D-G-E, you right? His name is Budge. I don't even, I can't even think of anything to say about that. I'm a conservative man with morals and we're here to hopefully be a father. Anytime you start with, I'm a conservative man. Hit the road, Budjo. That wasn't in my, uh, my I just had water and watched everyone else have cocktails. Here he goes with his superiority complex because he's not drinking. Shut up, just drink your fucking water. You don't have to make a thing about it. <laughs> That was fucking cute. She looks really good. I'm thinking of myself. I hope you're ready to make a lot of babies with me. Oh my gosh. Would you like my man Stuart coming in being like, what would the lady like to drink? He's not coming in being like, hi, nice to meet you. He's just like, hey, let me let me serve you. Tend to our needs, Stewie. Yeah. Make no I ask. <laughs> he goes, make no I ask. Stuart. You were doing so good. You didn't have to say that. We made note already, hon. Huh? Oh, he's got red shoes on. I saw Stuart's game right off the bat, and I thought, damn it, Trent, this should have been you. I fucking hate Trent. I just already fucking hate him. Waiters, please come in. <laughs> the fucking waiters are coming in with fucking sperm fucking cups. Y'all are ruthless. Oh, my goodness. I did not see this coming, no pun intended. Why didn't they test these guys before and make sure that they were not sterile before putting them on a show about producing children? Look, I'm a professional wrestler. My sperm will be able to do backflips off the top rope, body slam 400 pound guys, and entertain millions and millions of people around the world. I got this. If these guys don't pass the test, yeah. it's going to be hard for me to move those guys forward. If they don't pass the test, they don't go forward because that would defeat the purpose of this fucking show. Oy. When it comes to actual baby making, these numbers are important. 96%. I don't have no idea what my means. This guy is wasted. The first place award with 317 million active swimmers. Showing off. Goes to Alan. 
the South African daddy. He's got the most swimmers. Did you guys see this one? Fatherhood. That's awesome right there. This reminds us why we're here, man. Yeah. Fatherhood. That means making babies. It means raising babies. Fucking love Stuart. I mean, Christy's next door, right? I mean, that's just she came over and joined the barbecue. How do we, like, uh, serenade her? Serenade her to come over. Do we all know a song that we can serenade Cindy with to get over here? Cindy? Who's, who's Cindy? Sorry. Oh! Oh! There was one female, one woman whose name you needed to learn your potential future baby mama. That's a, uh, that's a yikes. So as the guys were swarming around her, I thought I'd sneak on over and get her a little bubbly. I thought if I could get Christy a drink, maybe I could be the first to uh, you know, work my magic. Trent sucks. First of all, he stole that move from Stuart. Also, ew. I like Stuart a lot. I think he's a gentleman. This is a guy that I can see being a great dad too. <laughs> Are you ready for your first elimination? Try was one of my favorites last night. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we had a good conversation. He's an interesting guy. Wait, she's... She's eliminating them? Virtually. I... Ah. <sighs> okay. Oh. Thank you. Who's that? Oh, Trent there. Trent. You're a keeper, baby. You're moved. What? Oh, I hate Trent. I hate him. Oh, Marcus. Here you go, Marcus. Doctor. <laughs> That's what I said. He's an anesthesiologist. He's got money. He's going to win. They go, doctor. Fucking knew it. This is just nuts. Wait, she had Stuart. She said Stuart was one of her favorites. And now he's in the we need to talk section. I don't know how many people she sends home, but if she sends Stuart home, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. He's, he's the perfect candidate. I think it's important for me to kind of acknowledge the good and bad face to face. You know, all the guys I'm going to speak with, there's actually a couple guys here that I really wanted to take the time to let them know how special I think they are. And the guys are kind of waiting to see what side they're on. I had a hard time getting you to open up and I found you to be evasive. I don't see us starting a family together. That made me really uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Stuart, as you know, there's a lot of men here that I need to get to know. You've made me feel seen, appreciated, and like a lady. So I wanna say thank you, and I'd like to keep dating. That's my man, Stuart. Yeah, Stuart. Mm. I just don't feel like we're on the same timeline. I don't see us starting a family together. Oh. So Jason. Yes, ma'am. She had to sit Jason down for this one. I think I still need to understand your drinking. Well, I want to apologize to you. Coming from a small town, I really I let the nerves get the best of me. I had too much to drink. Okay. I mean, that's all it was. Like, I haven't drank since. Okay. And uh, I'm really not planning on it. Okay. Yeah. Join those guys downstairs. <laughs> what do you say? I will do that. Okay. I'm sure that's worth a bottle of champagne. Yes. I'm sure that's worth a bottle of champagne. I mean, well, yeah. Jason was sort of the life of the party when we first got here. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yep. And I'm thinking to myself, uh-oh, here we go again. Is that moonshine? <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna watch this every week. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you would like to see me do more videos like this. Thanks guys.